Hello everyone, I am Thomas. I'm sitting here today on the beach on a very sunny day. I'm going to talk to you about light and colors. First, we'll see a little story called The Color Monster. Then we have a little video to learn something more about light and color. And we've got a couple of experiments to have fun. I hope you like it. So let's get started. The Color Monster by Anna Lennis. This is the color monster. Today he woke up feeling confused and he doesn't know why. Are you mixed up again, color monster? You, your emotions don't work well when they are all jumbled up. You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. This is sadness. It is lonely and blue like the rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. When you're sad, you want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. It's okay to cry, color monster. This is anger. It burns red like a fire and it's hard to stamp out. When you're angry, Life can feel unfair. Sometimes you want to take your anger on others. But I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will disappear. This is fear. It hides and runs away like black mouse in the night. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the grey shadows. But I can help you find your way. This is calm. It's quiet like the trees and as light as a green leaf. When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. And you feel at peace. You can rest now, color monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See? Don't you feel much better? Oh, oh. I see you're feeling something new. You feel different, color monster. How do you feel now? Did you like the story? I did. Let's learn something more about light and color. Play the video. Can you count how many colors are there in a rainbow? Mm, red, orange, yellow, green, 
blue, indigo, violet. Mm, total seven. Yes, there are total seven colors. Hey, our sky has so many colors. Mm, mm. Colors in rainbow. Seven. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Let me tell you a secret. What is the secret? The secret is that white light is made of these seven colors. Mm, mm. Secret! White light is made of seven colors. Hey, that means sunlight is made of seven colors. What is this? It is called prism. What we do with it? Let me show you. Oh, wow! It's a rainbow in my hand. It's a magic. No, this is not a magic. Like I told you, that white light is made of seven colors. So, with prism, I broke white light in seven colors. Oh, so prism can break white light. Yes, prism breaks white light in seven colors. Now, you remember that white light breaks up in all seven colors of the rainbow. There you go. You can also think the other way around. If you mix different colors, you can have white light. See how it works here. This is a white circle. You see it white, but in reality, it's made of three different colors all together. So you see red, green and blue and they are all into this white color. I'm gonna show it to you I'm moving them apart. So if I move red down there and then I move green up here and blue to the other side, there you've got, you see that these three circles, they make white but if i mix green and red you get yellow if i mix green and blue i've got cyan and if i mix red and blue i've got magenta so if i mix all three together then you get white separately we're gonna look at two colors and how they combine I've got green and red and they combine into yellow but if I take out some green look what happens I'm taking out some green so I'm leaving more of red and the color we get by mixing is orange we get orange I've got red and blue and what I'm going to do is to take out some red and there I've got purple in the middle and if I take out some blue instead the color I get is pink this is how we see colors mixing these three basic colors we can see all the colors in the rainbow so here we've got different torches with different colors if i switch on this one i see blue this is what i see and this is the light coming to my eyes so if i switch on blue i see blue but what happens if i add a little green to that i see a lighter blue and if I add more I see a very pale greenish blue and what if I start adding some red then I see white okay what happens if I 
take out some blue of the mixture. If I take out blue, I see yellow. And the other way around, if I take out green, what I see is magenta. And green, what it does, it makes it weaker into pink or even paler to white color. Now it's white, okay? And if I drop the three of them, I see shades of gray until it's completely black. It's black altogether, all right? Hey, did you learn something? Is it clear? Yeah, isn't it? So, now it's time to do some experiments to have fun. We've got different experiments which are very, very easy and everything you need is at home. So you don't need to buy anything. So let's start with the first experiment, okay? To do this experiment, you'll need paper, some color crayons, a torch or a headlight, a CD, and a glass of water. Go to a room where you can make it dark. For example, the toilet. Flash the light to the city and see a rainbow appear on the wall. Draw a rainbow on the paper. Follow the order that you saw on the wall. Red first and violet last. Now Put the paper behind the glass of water and stand in front of it. Move down the paper while you're looking through the water and see the rainbow flip over. Now red is to the right and violet to the left. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? How did it go? Now, we've got another experiment coming up. Do you like CSI? The science they do to catch the bad guy is the same you are going to use in this experiment so you can play detective. Have a look. For this experiment you will need water, transparent plastic cups, alcohol, paper cup coffee filters, some color felt tips and pens, sticky tape, scissors, pencil, and a dropper or a teaspoon. First, cut the coffee filter into stripes of about one centimeter wide. A centimeter from the end of a stripe, draw a line with the pencil and make a blot with a felt tip in the middle of it. Press gently so inked in the paper. Stick this stripe of paper to the pencil. Make sure it is shorter than the plastic cup. Then put it in carefully. Put some water in an empty cup and add a little alcohol. Give it a shake to mix it. You don't need much alcohol. Use a dropper or a teaspoon 
to pour the mixture down the walls of the plastic cup. Remember, the liquid must reach just to the tip of the paper stripe. Like there. Then, the water and alcohol will go up the paper stripe and take the ink with it. Let it rest for 15 minutes. Don't shake it or move it. And this is the result. See how the ink has moved up from the line you draw with the pencil to the top of a paper stripe. Brown ink is made up of red, yellow and blue colors. The green ink in this pen is made of yellow and blue. This is all we have time for today. Uh, find a link to share your photographs of home experiments and another link to an interactive game on the description of this video. Um, hope to see you again. Bye for now.